Um, Mr. Wright. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there are other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it will be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. Or the director. Oh, jeez. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me! I'm the director! I ate the steel samurai, noob! <laughs> Salmonella, I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes your honor. Hmm. Very well, please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking his testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing... Uh, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear everyone else that ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer. So I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting all that at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I, don't, I didn't see anything that was explicitly doing it. Okay, and I even have a full life bar. Maybe that resets after every day? That has to be after every day, I'm guessing. Okay, so series around 9 during the morning, I was doing an action scene run-through. See, that's what I'm kind of wondering. Um... Unfortunately, we don't really have anything we can show that really... Hmm, that really tells that. Just the other testimony, but we can't press on that other testimony. I guess we can just start by pressing everything and see if anything comes up. Is that when you always come into work? Oh! Oh no! I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know about the freaks in your industry. Still, F FWIW, I was pretty busy all that day. Tell us more about that. 
Okay, doing an action scene. Because that's the thing. No one mentioned the director was there. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at that run-through? Oh, yeah. The security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Lol. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. <laughs> anyone else? Nope. Just us four. See, that's what I'm kind of wondering. Just us four. But again, I don't have anything that specifically contradicts that. Aside from Old Bag's testimony, but I don't have that as a sort of thing to present. Uh, I guess we can just keep pressing, though. Why did it go on so long? Uh, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? All right, that's the limp. Which, of course, led to me missing my lunch. Roffs. Roffs? Rolling on the floor... Starving? <laughs> I guess that would be what that acronym would be. Everyone else ate lunch at the employee area, but we saw that there was lunch in the... in trailer... or Studio 2. What exactly did they have for lunch? T-Bone Steak! The assistant cooked some up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Hmm. I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can't you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Yeah, because there was food at the Studio 2 lot. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. Huh? What do you want? <laughs> when I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Uh, uh, no! Uh, good call! <laughs> I, I, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspect it as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during the meeting. I wolfed it down then. <laughs> a mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If you took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. Press on that one a bit more. Okay, let's see. Meeting in the studio, trailer, so skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around four. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this, the sponsors turned to me and say, Mr. Manila, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Could you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting? D during the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs, which directly contradicts what he said earlier. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well... Y yeah, not a one! <laughs> hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? Only had an idea. Wait a second! Maybe I do have an idea. Yeah, this is where I want to press him harder. Wait a second! Mr. Manel, you've just contradicted yourself! Did you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? <laughs> well? Um, 
Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. <laughs> uh oh, Edgeworth is laughing. Wonder why? Probably because he thinks this is airtight or something. Yeah, FWIW, we took a break. We're awful. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, lol. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin your the cross-examination. Okay. Wait. He just said the length of time. Let's see, it was only 15 minutes. Not enough time to someone to commit murder. It's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak. Unfortunately, he still doesn't say when it was. Because if the break happened, like, somewhere within two, two o'clock, then it absolutely would match up to when the photo was taken. Okay, well, there's nothing contradictory immediately sticking out, so let's just press on him. What time exactly did you take this break? Thank you, Phoenix! That's what I was wondering! Hmm... I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death! So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back... I guess it's possible, time-wise. Edgeworth looking serious. But it was only 15 minutes. Yeah, cause... Yeah, I'm wondering... Because... Unfortunately, that doesn't immediately contradict anything. Possibly this, but that's assuming someone left. I get the feeling it is going to have to be Mr. Monkey's head that I'm going to have to present, but I need to find when exactly I need to do that. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak? What else? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right. The other one was D... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez. Producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Okay. Let's press him on this. Why is that? Objection. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has been made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Yeah, I do. It has to be. If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. Court record? 
surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4, the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Ah! You're right! True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had barred the way! It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No counter-argument, Mr. Wright? Then I'm afraid you lose this round. Oh, come on! I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is a decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive witness. Evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Well, that definitely could have gone better. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up! If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not go have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Hero to children everywhere, after all. I... Uh, you... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. <laughs>